Welcome to the Agile Development Template. You can use these templates to really help manage your development team and move quickly as you have a lot of tasks, bugs, or iterations to work on. Here we have the Sprint Planning Board. This is a great template to manage your sprint iterations. For example, you notice that in Sprint 1 or Sprint 2, we can use a pulse to add a specific bug, story, or task for one of our dev team members to tackle. You notice right here, we have a few status columns that can help us determine what kind of task, bug, or story this is. In this case, it's a story, it's a task hour estimation. We can indicate to our entire team that we're working on this during the sprint and indicate the priority of the specific task. Additionally, we use a numbers column to really indicate how many story points we're allocating to this. This is gonna help us understand how much resources we're allocating to this project. We're using a tag column to indicate the type of project. Additionally, we have a pulse ID column to indicate the specific ID of it and the creation log so we know when we added this to the sprint. Of course, you can use the pulse update to include all the collaboration conversations, files, and work you've done on this specific task. And as we complete this, we can mark it as done and our entire team can know this. Another important feature is being able to turn all your data into something useful. Here, you can add a chart view. Once you've added the chart view, you notice that you can create simple graphs that can help you understand how much time you're allocating with each of these iterations or tasks that you're given. You can select the type of graph right here. You can select the assignee. Let's say in this case, we're gonna have the assignee and the estimation based on the story points we've given it. You can use the board filter right here to narrow down on a specific person. In this case, Roy is working on three story points this sprint, and we can allocate him more time if he needs to complete it. Next, we have the bug queue template. It's a great template to manage all the bugs you're receiving and track all of it in real time. You notice that there's three types of groups, new, postponed, old. You can have team members enter in new bugs, and you can filter through them and bring them down to the postpone if it's not relevant or urgent for your priority, or you can move it to old once you've fixed it. Here, we can add a new task or bug right here. You notice that once we add a new bug to this as a pulse, you can update the reporter, the person who's reporting it, let's say from the sales team or marketing team. You can update the status column to indicate where you're at with this project, in this case, in progress, and we want to make sure we prioritize it, whether it's critical to the customer or not. From there, we have a checks box column to indicate whether it's added to the sprint and we can assign it to our developer. Last but not least, you have the creation log to see when this was added to the board so you know how long the bug has been sitting there for before you can take a look at it. Of course, you can add notes on the issue right here through the pulse update. And then once you've completed and fixed the bug, you can mark it as fix, move it all the way down to the old group, and you've solved it. Last but not least, we have the mobile version release board. This is a great board to plan out when you're releasing new versions of your platform. In this case, we have groups based on iOS and Android. You can quickly add a new version here. Once you've added the pulse based on the version release, you can use a text column to indicate the main features you're releasing. You may use the status column to tell your team members where you're at with this release. You can use the numbers column to indicate the percentage of how many user base you've rolled this out to. The owner of it, which could be the developer in charge of it, and the release date with the date column. The cool part about this is you can use the calendar view by adding the view here, clicking on the calendar view, and seeing how all these releases fit together all in one calendar. And of course, you can click on this and you can narrow it down to a specific group to see all the Android releases. And those are the templates that can really help your team be more agile, productive, and tackle big goals. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, shoot us an email, support at monday.com. Otherwise, catch you on the platform.